today we're going to be working on lead code question number 386 lexicographical numbers uh, you have been given a number uh, n return all the numbers in the range 1 to n sorted in <coughs> lexicographical order you must write an algorithm that runs in linear time and without any extra space okay so one, if we have to return the numbers from 1 to 13 we're going to be returning 1 and then 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 uh, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that is a lexicographical one so algorithm is gonna be like we're gonna be going from all the numbers which can all <clears throat> if we just look at, at the, the first 10 numbers 1 through 9 right uh, it can be 1 and then 1 0 and 1 1 so we'll be using that uh, like we're gonna be taking one number like number 1 and then we're gonna be keeping uh, we're gonna go all the way 1 and then 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 until we see that uh, we have exceeded <coughs> this one and then we're gonna take the number 2 and do the same thing until we see that we have exceeded the number n so that being said uh, let's have a list of integer result which is equal to new array list okay and then we're gonna call uh, for int i is gonna go through from 0 i is less than 10 and then i plus plus and then we're gonna call our DF, uh, dfs uh, with i n and then uh, the result and in the end, once we come out of that, we can return the result. The DFS doesn't really return anything. It takes int. Uh, what is the current value? All right. And what is the n? And the result, which we're going to be filling up. Okay. Sounds good. Now, if the current is less, uh, current is, has become greater than n, then we can just return. We don't want to process anymore. Return. Okay, otherwise, else what we're gonna be doing is like we're gonna, oops, we're gonna be, we're gonna be adding uh, the, the current to the result. And then again, we're going to do the same thing for int i equals to 0, i is less than 10, i plus plus. And if, again, uh, we're going to process, we're going to try to create our new number by multiplying the number of uh, current plus current, uh, multiplying it with 10 and adding the I to it. If that is still, if it is, uh, if it is greater than n, right, we're gonna return. Otherwise, we're gonna call the DFS with this new number, 10 multiplied by the current plus i, and then the rest is gonna stay the same. That should do it. should be current language overflow error language overflow error we said that the current is greater than n we should return that is true otherwise the result dot add is gonna be error the current then we have our i equals to 0 and i is less and same thing is going on here where i wanted to start from 1 not from 0 yeah I should start from 1 looking good <coughs> 